working with a toxic boss and in a toxic zone is bound to make you feel stagnant, especially if your boss is passing you over for a well-deserved promotion or overloading you with tasks, which is your day. One of the follows of boredom at work is that it can quickly sap out your willpower and motivation. This will eventually begin to weaken your resilience muscle and diminish self-care. When this does begin to happen in your work life, I have seen many high-performing executives doing things which can derail their professional career. There is more than enough research which does point out that board employees are much more susceptible in abusing others and purposely failing at the tasks. When I do come across my own clients going through this patch in the professional space, I help them change their perception of boredom. Instead of seeing it as a hindrance, I gently nudge them to use it to spark the next innovative idea. When someone is bored, the brain does tend to work on a default mode. During this mode, it is much easier to connect ideas, work on big goals, and figure out what steps one can take to get to the goals.